this video, we're going to take a look at how to enable additional languages on your Talkman devices. The first thing that you need to do is log into your Voice Console instance using an account that has a full administrative uh, rights. Once you log in, you want to go to your Voice Console tab and go to Device Management. Take a look at your devices and whichever devices you need to load the new voice on, make a note of what um, profile they are using. Take a look at the profile. Make sure what version of Voice Catalyst or Voice Client they're using. And then go over into your left menu under Navigation and click on Voice Client. Find the Voice Client that that device is using and click directly on it. Once here, you can see what modules are loaded with this version. In this case, we've only got a voice module for English. Now, if you want another language, you have to make sure that you actually upload it. To do that, you need to go to Import Voice Client, choose your file, and you want to pick the exact VOS file um, that is the same as what you need to have the language on. Now, even though it's already imported, you're going to import it again, but you'll only be importing the language. Once you've selected it, you click on Next. And this can take it a little bit of time, depending on where on your network you have that file loaded. Um, particularly if you have it on your own laptop and you were trying to upload it to a server, it could take a good five or 10 minutes. Once it loads up, you're going to see a list of all the available languages. In this case, I'm going to select Spanish Mexico, and I'm going to say Next. You're going to get a user agreement, um, which Honeywell does recommend you read through completely. You accept the agreement, and once it's accepted, it's going to take it again a few moments to upload that voice. Once it's been uploaded, you will see that you get a confirmation up here in green. And at this time, if you go back and take a look at that, you can see that we've got English and we've got Spanish. Now to get that Spanish language on a device, you wanna go back to your device management, highlight the device that you want to load the language to by clicking anywhere where there is not a hyperlink. Once it's selected, You'll come over into your left menu, highlight the common device actions, and select Load Voice to selected devices. You'll now see that there are two languages available. I'm going to select English, and I'm also going to select Load when the device enters the sleeping state or when placed in the charger. This will ensure that an operator that has a device in their hand and needs language loaded can get it to load simply by putting the device to sleep and waking it back up. And I click on load voice and you will see that the load voice action item is here. The device is sleeping. I am going to go ahead and wake it up in order to get it to begin its load. and you will see that it has loaded the voice module is complete. Now, if you're looking at the GUI here, you can see that we're not seeing what language is loaded. In order to see that, you want to add and remove columns, and you want to select the resident voices. Close this, and you can see that the only resident voice is English. Now also, under Add and Remove Columns, you are going to find a active voice. There it is. And if you click on that to add that column, and you'll have to scroll over because all new columns are added at the end, you can see that the active voice is English. 
And where this column is going to be important, actually, both of these are if you load multiple languages onto a device and you want to see which device is actually active and in use. Now, the final component to being able to have a device speak to your operators in a language of their choice is going to be your task package. Now, by default, uh, most task packages that are provided are not translated into every language. This simply means that the task package, uh, when interacting with an operator who has loaded a different voice, is not going to speak all of the prompts in the language that they have loaded. In order to have a task be able to speak every prompt, um, including all of your custom prompts, in the language that has been selected, the task itself will have to have a translation. And for that, you'll want to reach out to Mountain Leverage Support.